Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn about the blade template. So, blade template is a little bit big topic. So, we will break this uh, complete topic in the two part. This is the basics of uh, the blade template, and in the next video, we will learn about the advanced thing in the blade template, right? So, in this video, we will see what is the blade template, expression of its, its and conditions like if conditions, if else condition, else if conditions, and all and then for and for each loop and after that i will ask you an interview question and uh, you can attempt this question in the comment box if you want and if you don't want that's okay but please read about this interview question if you don't know about that right yep so the question is uh, what is the blade template so this is the template engine in the laravel that convert plain text to the php code right and why it do that the reason is because uh, uh, there is some php tags and the uh, loops and conditions and functions they are uh, little bit difficult to write right so that uh, blade template provides provide the easy way to use these things like uh, when you, i use the for each loop and and the if conditions i can use the at the rate right and if i just want to echo something then i can just use the double curly braces so let's say in the php tag if i just want to echo something then i have to just write the, this kind of code right and then i and in the blade template i can just simply use double uh, curly braces and dollar i and this is pretty simple and uh, this is you can see like a little bit faster to type also right yes one more thing with the help of blade template you can make the common header and footer also right and make the common style also and if you just want to load some javascript file in the common area then this is also possible in the upcoming videos we will learn everything don't worry so now in this video let's see that how we can just uh, uh, make the conditions and loops uh, in this uh, blade template right and we will see the expressions also so let's look out the expression first of all but for that i need at least two things one is a view and second one is a controller so i am just going to make a controller first of all right so let's make it clear and just write here php artisan make controller and controller name let's say my controller name is uh, users controller hit the enter now you can find this controller inside the app http controllers and here and i'm just going to make a function here and this function can be view load and here i will uh, return a view and i did not make a view yet when i will make then i will put a name here right now the second thing uh, let's make a view so for that let's go to the resources views and let's make a file users dot blade dot php and keep in mind that in a normal file like users dot php you cannot write the code in the blade templating way you must have to put the blade dot php extension if you just want to use uh, templating engine code right and expressions so here just uh, put here h1 tag and uh, just close it and we can write here uh, users age page right then from here let's uh, just simply put here users right and now let's jump on the web.php and define a route for it let's uh, make a route but before that we have to import the controller so just simply use here use app http then um, we can use the controllers then let's use the users oh my god users controller right and now use this user controller in a routing get method 
as in second parameter first parameter will be the our path uh, or you can say that the url in the second parameter let's choose an array then put here user class class and the uh, second key will be the function name so our function name will be view is uh, function name is view load right let me verify this uh, function name that's okay so now let's see on a user's route what we are actually getting here that's great so now how we can use the blade template for that uh, you can just use the double curly braces and if you write something here it will just uh, work like a php code so let's say i just put here 10 plus 10 right and the answer will be the 20 here you can see that right and even you can use this thing uh, in the any tag like h1 tag or without tag wh wherever you want right you can multiply it exp anything and in these things we can also use actually the php functions also so let's see i just want to pass some data from here like uh, uh, just put here users uh, key users and uh, users can be like uh, they should be like of array like anil and uh, sam and peter and all right and uh, now let's try to use the methods also here like i want to use the count method the count method let's put here users right this 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 is the users uh, array key now let's see that we got a three because there is a three users so we can also use the php uh, functions here right so you got that now uh, i will show you that how we can just simply put here the if else condition and all so let's uh, just put here the user and uh, only single name here for a moment like anil right and here let's uh, see that how we can use the condition so you just need to put here at the rate if dollar uh, user there is a no users for a moment so we can just remove it right so this is the users so let me make it a uh, sorry this is the user so let me make it user equal equal to anil then it can just show a h3 tag like uh, hi dollar user right so now what i can see here okay i have to just close this at the rate if also so just put here at the rate and if and we got here high anil right so let's uh, make the another uh, condition also so let's say now you just one check uh, that if we have some other user also so that we can check here else if sam is here then we can just put here hello sam and from here let's try to put here pass the user as in sam we got an hello sam also so at the last so let's say no condition is actually matched then you can simply put here at the rate else right and uh, in the else you can just uh, put here all the tags and uh, put it like unknown hello or you can put here unknown user right and if we put here some other name like uh, peter so this is a totally different name so it will just tell us unknown user so that way we can also use the condition so now let's see how we can use the for loop and just put here f at the rate four dollar i um, let's equal to 10 then dollar i less than 10 then dollar i plus plus right 
and uh, we don't need these curly brackets here and just write here and and 4 right and uh, just simply put here um, in a span or oh, let's take some header tag so that you can watch it clearly right h4 and just simply write here dollar i so we will go here we will just go to the count from uh, mm -mm -mm. let me check was the wrong because they just shown me the small text yeah because i forgot to close the h1 tag we got a 0 to 9 counting this should be the possible right so now let's see that how we can use the for each loop for that i need some little bit dynamic data so i'm just going to put here data and here i'll put some name going to put some name like anil peter Loki, then Bruce, they are fair enough. And uh, here I can just simply pass here dollar data. Now, uh, this is my user, so I'm just going to make it, uh, I will just uh, resolve the these array in a single. Uh, loop right so in a with the uh, for each loop right so just put here for each but with the for each you can just uh, put the enter here and it will just make a syntax also but if you don't want that then you can do it also from the uh, your uh, manual way so just put here for each dollar user i think there should be the users right because there is a lots of user now so let's make it users users as dollar user right and just put here and for each and what we can just write here let's take h1 tag uh, close it and simply put here uh, dollar user and now you will see your all users here like Anil, Peter, Loki and Don and all. So thanks for watching this video. If you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. But yeah, that's time to interview question. So my interview question is that here we are just putting uh, the code in a blade template. So can we write here PHP core PHP code here like a normal PHP text like this? Right? Is it possible or not? This is my interview question. And thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye-bye. Take care.